We have been talking about it this morning. It shows that the more sleep you get could take inches off your waist. Here to talk about this, Dr. Sarah Siavoshi from UCSD Medical Center. You are a neuro neurologist. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so why in the world is it that the more we sleep, the smaller our waistline is? Why is that? So I don't think that people really know, but this study was really interesting in that it showed that the more people slept, they took 1,600 people in Great Britain mm -hmm. and looked at them and showed that those who slept six hours had a waist circumference that was three centimeters greater than those who slept nine hours. Mm -hmm. So the more people slept, the better off they were in terms of abdominal obesity. Okay, um, and that, that has to do with some, there's some hormones, right? So there's some there's hormones. Some... The theories as to why this happens, we're not exactly sure, but the study had some postulations. So mm -hmm. one was that perhaps our metabolism is affected. So that the more you're sleeping, mm -hmm. the higher metabolism you have, you're able to burn fat better. Okay. Um, and that also when we have abdominal fat, it's a visceral kind of fat storage that surrounds our organs namely our pancreas, which is an insulin producer, which is one of those important hormones. Uh -huh. And insulin is, when it's off-regulated, can cause fat storage. Uh, and can cause your body to hold on to that. Right. And then, and then that would, in turn, exactly. and increase so the, the waistline. Exactly. And the thought is that perhaps sleep and insulin regulation are related. How exactly? We don't know. Okay. Now, is there a difference between six hours and nine hours and even 12 hours. And yeah. what is the difference? Yeah, so in this study, those who slept more, up to 12 hours, actually had better results. So wow. they had lower BMIs, lower uh, body mass indexes, uh -huh. and also better cholesterol profiles. So they had higher HDL, which is their good cholesterol as well. Interesting, it also, the study also had to do with, I mean, those who slept more also had less weight on them. Like yep. their weight was less as well, not just the circumference of their, their waist. Their waist, line. exactly, their BMIs were affected. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Um, I always thought, I mean, I heard a couple of studies before, like a, a couple years ago, saying the more you sleep, the, the worse it is for your body. Right. Now this, this study is turning everything around. So there's been studies that show that our optimal amount of sleep is between seven and nine hours. Uh -huh. And you're right, there have been some studies that show that those who sleep beyond nine hours actually have the opposite issue. Right. So this study was interesting in that it showed kind of the opposite results. So, okay, in your daily practice when you see people, what would you recommend sleep-wise for them when it comes to weight? Okay, so incredibly important for people who are struggling with things like they've come to me and they've had their second stroke, yeah. right? One really important modifiable risk factor I tell them is get enough sleep. So sleep between seven to nine hours and practice good sleep hygiene. What's so, that mean? So sleep hygiene is super important. Get enough uh, daylight, as much daylight exposure as you can um, during the daytime hours so that our melatonin, a really important hormone, is regulated and by the time lights go out at nighttime, your body knows lights out, it's time to go to bed. Okay. Um, avoid caffeine six hours before going to sleep, avoid late night workouts, and avoid late night heavy meals. Okay, and the phone, I always I always hear about the phone as well, keep the phone away keep from Keep the phone away, bright lights, sort bright, of light. bright lights from laptops or phones or TV. Right. All right. Well, this is a very interesting study. I'm sure many more studies are needed yes. to, to get some more conclusive evidence of this. Doctor, thank you so much for thank your you time. Thank you for having nice me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right, the 2017 uh, Semper Fi Ride event is happening at Camp Pendleton and Ed Linderman.